Keolu Fox chose to meet us where we could see the gray Pacific Ocean on the edge of the UC San Diego campus. Keolu is a genetic scientist and a professor of anthropology at UCSD. He's also a native Hawaiian who is using genetic analysis to learn how his ancestors, his kapuna, move from one island to the next. Risky exploratory trips he compares to moonshots. Keolu believes that journey ultimately brought Polynesians to a pre-Columbian landing on the South American continent. It's traveling thousands of miles across our planet's oldest, most gnarly, most dangerous ocean. You find comfort in reading the stars at night. You find comfort in understanding different wind and, and, and currents like this. You find comfort in reading all of this different type of ecological metadata that allows you to know the direction that you're going. That knowledge was passed from one generation to the next. Today, it stands alongside modern scientific research. It's true that our grandparents told us that we came from Tahiti, but now I can show you in an unbiased way that we have another thing to be proud of, and that is that we're the greatest seafaring and voyaging people in human history. Polynesians designed double-hulled sailing vessels, catamarans if you like, to travel the oceans so effectively. Today, evidence of Polynesian migration is seen in many ways, including the languages islanders speak. But it's not been clear what path the migration took or just when it happened. Thanks to modern genetic analysis by Fox and his research group, they've been able to draw a map and establish a timeline for that migration. A paper published in Nature three years ago presented a specific eastward migratory path. Keolu was a co-author. By testing the genome of people on one island and comparing it to those on islands settled by their descendants or their forebears, you can understand the sequence of island settlement. Alex Iwanides is a computational geneticist at UC Santa Cruz and another co-author of the Nature article. And so if you imagine that on the original parent island from which they came, there were only, let's say, you know, one in a hundred people with red hair. Um, but on the new island, if, you know, one of the 10 people on that boat had red hair, then the new island, you're going to have 10 percent frequency red hair, right? So you're going to suddenly have this really strong effect just depending on what the founders happen to have. Evolution of DNA also lets you calculate how many generations separate the people of Tahiti from their distant cousins in Hawaii. So, given the speed and the extent of the Polynesian eastward expansion, why didn't they end up in America? If they found a little place like Easter Island, how could they miss a whole continent? Keolu Fox said they didn't and they arrived hundreds of years before the Spanish. And the reality is that the nail is in the coffin, baby. He says it's time to bury the whole notion that Columbus discovered America. The idea that our Polynesian ancestors made it to South America first is a fact. Early Polynesians and American Indians did make contact centuries ago. That is indisputable. Polynesian Islanders share the same genetic signature seen in at least one South American Indian tribe. Iwanidi says the timing of Polynesian expansion also favors a hypothesis that they landed on the continent. The settlement process of the remote islands all the way out to Easter Island, uh, which is the, the most remote, was occurring right around the time, around the, the 1200s, 1100s and 1200s, that we date the contact with the Native Americans to have also occurred. Still, some questions remain because, so far, no Polynesian DNA from that era has been found in South America. Iwanidi said the possibility that an Indian boat made it to a South Sea island to initiate the contact cannot be discounted. But Keolu calls that scenario highly unlikely, given how little evidence we find of Native American navigational skills or their construction of ocean-worthy vessels. Researchers continue their work to answer the unanswered questions. Keolu wants to bring genome testing to North America. He hopes that indigenous tribes along the California coast will offer samples to see if they may be linked to the Polynesian people. The idea of testing a hypothesis that brings indigenous people closer together around unity and connectivity 
and harmony and balance and saying that we had a relationship before settler colonialism. We had a relationship uh, before the introduction of syphilis, smallpox, leprosy, etc. I think that's a really powerful thing. Thomas Fudge, KPBS News.